Kenna Johnson is the all-time leader in rebounds and blocks for Mandan girls basketball, and she accomplished those feats before even starting her senior season. But Johnson's love for basketball and her success on the court began at a young age to set the path for her future. Tonight, we put Johnson in the sports spotlight. Basketball is in McKenna Johnson's blood. From the moment I could walk, I had a ball in my hand. So it's no surprise that she's ended up here as a household name in North Dakota. Getting set to play her senior season at Mandan after signing with the flagship university of the state. It's just awesome being able to wear North Dakota State University across your chest. It's a process that she's been working through since middle school, but it all circled back to her first college offer. I was shocked. I wasn't expecting it, especially as an eighth grader. NDSU head coach Jory Collins gave Johnson that call after the WDA tournament her eighth grade season. His belief in her raw skills from a young age influenced that final decision. I remember calling my dad into the room. I was like, oh my God, they offered and we were all kind of freaking out, but it was very surreal and it still is the amount of confidence he put in me and instilled in me. It was just unbelievable. Now Johnson hopes to influence the next wave of athletes, taking pride in wearing the Bison brand and elevating the level of play in the WDA. Being able to support not only your hometown, but also towns that you've been playing in for many years. And I mean, a lot of little kids look up to you being like, oh, she's playing for her state. Like, I want to do that too. And it's just awesome to be able to be that role model for not only little girls, but also kids in high school who are looking up to you. Johnson and the Braves tip off their season on Friday against Fargo North. Well, the NDA PSSA released its Class AA preseason basketball polls today. The West owning three of the top five spots in both boys and girls. Minot at number one in both. Mandan finds itself ranked fourth and Legacy is fifth with Bismarck and Century both receiving votes on the girls' side. For the boys, Bismarck and Century at three and four. Legacy and Mandan are both receiving votes. The University of Mary announced this evening that head volleyball coach Abby Pollard has stepped down after four seasons with the program. Pollard started with the program in 2021 and went 25 and 86 as head coach of the Marauders. She was previously an assistant at UMary for three seasons. UMary has begun a national search for a replacement and it will be new athletic director Marcus Wagner's first hire as AD. Well, today Bismarck offensive lineman Jack Schaefer made his college decision official, signing with the University of Washington. This comes just a couple of months after flipping his commitment from Iowa State. Schaefer said the coaching history with the Huskies was a big part of his decision as he gets set to early enroll in January. Uh, it feels like I can be a part of a huge organization there and really set history and be a part of something bigger than myself. I feel like it'll help me reach my goals. My goal is to go to the NFL, and I think that it'll help me more than what Iowa State would have. Even though they're both great colleges, I just feel like Washington is a bit more of an NFL experienced school. All right, thanks, Luke, and we'll be right back after the break.